Hi everybody, it's Deb from d, d Art Gallery. Today is not a typical um, video for me. I'm just going to recap all my uh, dried results from some past videos. So let's get started. This first painting is an 18 by 24. It's my video number 91 and it is a flip and drag and it did turn out very nice. I'll just bring you up here, show you the whole painting. It dried very nice. No problems there. And I'll, I'm trying to do these in order for you. This is video number 93. It is a strainer pour and I like it, but I may want to embellish it a little bit. I think it's a little bit plain. So I may want to do something with that middle section. I'm just thinking about it right now. Some of these uh, do not have uh, any finish on the top yet. I'm waiting for that. This painting number 98 is a multi-cup dirty cup pour. This is one of my favorite ones. I just love the love the color palette on this painting. It's so soft. Just turned out very, very nice. So that's that painting. That was a 12 by 16, by the way. This next painting is uh, my video number 100. 100, I was celebrating a little bit on this one. And this is just a swipe. And sorry if this is a little bit shaky. I'm leaning over my table here to get all this in. This is a simple swipe. And then I just, I think I used my skewer just to draw some lines here and there through it. And I really didn't keep a, a you know, a straight line through the middle. I tipped it, turned out very colorful and it dried very nice. So again, that's, that's video number 100. The next one is a Dutch pour, and this is video number 103. I love the colors in this one. I started out with black here, down in the, um, the lower right-hand corner, and then, then I blew it out. And as you can see, I just really, I love the colors of this one, so pretty. Again, that's video 103, and it's a Dutch pour. Okay, so back, back we go this way. This is video 112, and it's stripes and dots. If you remember, all I did was uh, pour the paint, the paint on from a dirty cup in stripes all over, and then I just tilted it. It dried very nice, very bright. Then I did run the skewer through it quite a bit. You can see that's kind of an embellishment that I did with the skewer there, where I put dots, dark colored dots, and then I ran the skewer through to get that effect. Very, it just turned out very pretty. I like, this is the lower, the lower right hand corner here. Again, that was video 112, stripes and dots. Okay, 113 is a dirty cup pour with enamel paint. Hoping to get some of these, some of the white effects around the edges, which I did. I had one person say this looks like rocks. So, We'll just, I'll take you across the top here. That's the upper right hand corner and I'll take you down to the lower right hand corner. Again, this dried very nice. I liked how the colors came in between the rocks here. Very pretty and I'll take you across the bottom. I just love the effects in this painting. Right in here, beautiful. Okay, again, that was painting number 113, or video number 113, and it was a dirty cup 
with enamel paint added. Okay? Okay, video number 115 is a simple stripe. I'm sorry, a swipe. Simple swipe. And I really like how this turned out. It has gold in it. Again, I didn't keep my middle line straight across. I did tilt quite a bit. Love the coloring in this painting. It's a 12 by 16. And it's just a simple swipe. Okay. The next one is a, a newer painting that I did. It's number 117. And this is a swipe where I used a comb and some beads. And I was really hoping that the lines from the comb stayed intact and they did. It dried very nice. This is on a 16 by 20 canvas. And I just really like the colors of this, this painting. This corner, this is the lower right hand corner here. It's very nice. I'll take it across the bottom here. Yep, dry very nice. Again, that was video 117. It's a swipe with beads and a comb. And my last one I wanted to show you is number 118. This is uh, the ribbon dirty cup pour with my split cup. And I wanted to leave negative space and I did here. So here's the upper left. And just going down and this, I really wanted to save that and I was able to and it dried fantastic. And let's go up the middle here. Really nice. The stripes are nice. The coloring is nice. And here it has that muted look. Very pretty. And here the yellow, very bright. Very happy with this painting. Again, this is number 118. A ribbon dirty cup with my split cup. So I hope you enjoyed this recap of all my dried ingredients, my, all my dried paintings. And um, until next time, take care, everybody. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.